Naomi. Thanks so much, Mike. Uh, let's uh, all our people keep the uh, comments coming on social media. Now, of course, uh, maintaining a good oral, uh, maintaining good oral health is one of the uh, very essential aspects of life and uh, our contributor to the overall uh, health and well-being. A lot of people have had dental problems at some point uh, without knowing the source or the solutions or how to prevent it. Now, joining us right here is Dr. Akiemi Igwe. He's a dentist, and of course, he'll be taking talking to us about how to care for our teeth. Now, uh, but first, uh, I mean. First, welcome. You know, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. So the first thing I want to ask is, why is it important to visit a dentist? Because right now, the penetration is very low. Uh, and of course, information about you know, visiting the dentist you know, when you're weighing it is also pretty low in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Um, well, we advise, dentists advise that uh, uh, patients should visit at least twice a year. As every six months. Um, this is to enable uh, the patient to have the opportunity to have problems picked up early. Yeah. Now, because of the nature of the way the teeth are, they are hard in nature, and the problems that uh, affect them usually you know, take a while. Yeah. So within that period of six months, there's a very high chance that you if detect. you go regularly, things can be picked up early, and then once they're picked up early, they can be sorted out before they become, you know, yeah, but it, it, there, there seems to be like this problem of people not um, paying that much attention to their teeth and also not taking it seriously because they just feel, you know what, I'm not sick physically. So if it's the teeth, then I might as well just you know, self-medicate or, or find something. So how do we solve that problem? Well, it's a complex problem. There are several uh, factors, in my opinion, that might uh, contribute. Awareness generally, um, you know, the media, um, and then of course schools can contribute. Yeah. Teaching children right from primary school about oral health and all these things mm. would go a long way, although that might be a long-term thing. Yeah. And um, of course the, per the person involved uh, personally might, you know. So those are the different factors that could affect it. Yeah. Um, more media awareness, more education in school and everything. Of course, another thing that might affect uh, seeking of dental health is the cost. People yeah. assume dentistry is yeah, quite expensive. We'll, we'll, quite we'll expensive. talk about cost, the cost shortly, but let's focus on the teeth now and uh, some of the things that we hear about a lot. So um, people talk about um, a plaque and, and tata and cavities and stuff like that, but there, there's never any real definition of these things because we just see that maybe like in a toothpaste advert. We say, oh, cavity protection or or a plaque control. gets rid of plaque and plaque <laughs> control and stuff like that. But we never really know what this what, what these terms really mean and how they affect our teeth. Can you just give us uh, maybe a short short you know uh, okay. definition of what? So these are? Um, for the first one, I'll talk about cavities first. Yeah. Uh, cavities is more or less you know the layman's term to describe what we call dental caries. Mm. It is um, basically cavitation of the teeth that is caused by. So when you say cavitation, that's a hole. Yes, in the holes. Tooth in the teeth. Yeah. And these holes are caused by acids produced by bacteria that are found in the mouth. Right. So that's what cavities are, dental caries, tooth decay, all the same thing. Mm. Um, so that's for dental caries. Yeah. Now, tata is, refers to a deposit that forms on the teeth over time mm. if you know, it's not well cleaned. Right. We call it calculus. So that builds up that over, builds over, up. over time. It, yeah. At the start of its buildup, it is soft and can be removed by toothbrushing. Right. But if that is not done, over time it calcifies right. and then becomes hard and becomes pretty much impossible to remove by your toothbrush. Right. And it's at this point that then you'll need a dentist. So to what help causes tartar? Things like coffee and smoking and no. things like that? Coffee, smoking is stains. Tata is caused by um, calcification of debris, right. dental plaque on mm. the teeth. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about plaque then. <laughs> now, dental plaque <laughs> yeah. is, is, is um, a biofilm right. produced in the mouth. It is produced, but it's very, very rich in bacteria. Right. Now, it generally just continues to form in the mouth, mm. and this is why it's important to brush at least twice daily. Right, right. This brushing disrupts its uh, formation, and then you know, it starts to build up again, and then and you have to brush, brush again. Okay. That's it. Okay, so let's move on to um, um, the visit to the dentist, because, so that you know, people also understand, okay, why? Okay, if I take a visit to the dentist, then you know, this can happen and all of that. So um, you talked about um, Tata and, and the build-up of um, some of these things yeah. over time. So if I pay a visit to the dentist, yeah. and let's even say it's for small problems like these, yeah. What is going to happen to me? 
Okay, so the first thing that I'd expect a dentist to do if you visit is to um, do an initial checkup of what you've come with, what yeah. you have. Yeah. You know, what's the state of the teeth? How many cavities do you have? You have tartar, you have stains. Document all of that yeah. and then solve the problems you've come with and then educate you on how to prevent the problems, the problems in the future. Yeah. But basically, I mean, the main thing that you do with the teeth is to ensure that, you know, you just ensure that they're clean. Um, you know, and brush, you know, like twice a day, right? Well, the most important uh, way to prevent dental problems is to keep the mouth clean. You're right. right. You're right about that. And what we advise is twice daily brushing, right. twice daily, preferably after meals. Right. Okay, so um, there's also the, I mean, it's, it's becoming, um, uh, mouthwash is becoming popular in Nigeria. So anywhere you go, you know, there's, people are selling mouthwash. What is um, our view? your view about mouthwash? <laughs> Well, um, for mouthwashes, they are an adjunct to oral health. Right. They are not supposed to replace the regular toothbrushing that we have. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, many dentists might not advise that you use mouthwashes Why? because Why? some of them can cause stains. Um, many of them contain alcohol, you know, yeah. uh, which can cause dehydration of the soft tissue, soft tissues, I mean, the, the cheeks mouth. and yeah, in the mouth. Wow, so okay. as much as possible, the most important thing is to brush twice daily. No, but you do this, I mean, when you see the ads, they you say you just put it in your mouth and when you gargle with it, 99% of bacteria in your mouth is dead. So it just <laughs> makes you feel like, you know what, this is a shortcut. Let me just, you know, um, wash my mouth with that, this. That is where the mistake is. It, yeah. it should be an adjunct. You should use it along with toothbrushing. Right. Not as a shortcut to oral health. All right, so let's go to cost now because one of the things that you talked about was lots of people think going to the dentist is too expensive. These dentists are driving nice SUVs, so <laughs> it must be from what people are paying. So how do you clear that up for us? Uh, well, truth be told, uh, healthcare is generally doesn't come cheap. Yeah. But dentistry specifically is slightly more expensive than most other specialist care. Right. However, I must, I must, I must point out that um, it is within reach of majority of the population. Mm. There are several categories of hospitals. We have the government hospitals, we have the uh, general hospitals, we have the teaching hospitals, mm. and then we have the private facilities as well. Right. Of course, the price ranges between these um, institutions vary widely, right. very widely. So it's just to look around, but of course, you can get affordable treatment at most government hospitals. All right. Thanks so much, though, for joining us this morning. Thank Hopefully, you so much. Um, you'll be uh, giving us updates uh, every once in a while, maybe twice a year, like you said. My on pleasure. The show. Thank you so much for It'll joining us. My pleasure. Us. All right, so uh, hopefully <laughs> this will be one of your New Year resolutions to visit the dentist at least twice in 2018. It'll be very, very nice. Now, it's going to be interesting.